The interview looked good. Right. Yeah. You never know yourself whether it was or not. Hey, how are you? It's great, great to see you. It's just great to see you. You're kind to see me. Well, pleased to see you. In the mini Oval Office. Yes. I'm sorry about the other people. I'll stop they there. They told me about it. They did. Well, sit down. Thank you. Summit. <laughs> yeah, I just went through an interview in there with four of the anchors on four networks. Uh, yeah. All of them at one time uh, on the subject of uh, the summit and all. I was thinking of you the day they did the same thing to my nose that they did to yours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Almost the same time, too. Yeah. Uh, now that you pointed out, I think I can see a little evidence yeah, there. Yeah. I know you can't, uh, but mine. To, to get one thing behind me very quickly, uh, I talked to some of our Owl's Nest friends, uh, Eddie Carlson, Hornsby, Wassey, and Moose Taylor. And they all uh, asked me to try and express their admiration. They are, Please tell them thanks. You know, there are two worlds. Uh, there's the nation's capital, and then there's America. Yes. And uh, I like to feel that for seven years I've been speaking for. You have, believe me. I, I, uh, I have come to realize also that you get beyond the belt line. Very a different. Different world out there. Very different. And I have often wondered how much effect it has on you. Me and the Washington Post. New York Times in Miami. Mr. President, President, I'd like to meet Judge Nebaker. Yes, Judge. My pleasure, sir. Well, please see my you. Pleasure. I have the honor of introducing my mother, Hello, Minnie Nebaker. How do you well, do, Mr. President? You told me that you've been a little under the weather, and I hope that you're feeling fine now. Oh, I feel great. Good. I should say I do. Right. This is my wife, Lou. How do you do, sir? How do you meet you? My sister, Jean. How do you do, sir? My daughter, Kara. And Lou. Wow. Hello there. And my daughter, Malia. How do you do? Hello. Nice to meet you. And my son, Mark. Hello there. He's an assistant U.S. attorney prosecuting cases here in the district. Well, you know. I was going to say congratulations, but uh, maybe I ought to offer condolences. <laughs> oh, boy. I was afraid you were going to say that. <laughs> You're just sentenced to five years, and I get to go home. Maybe they'll want to go with you. I'll miss you. <laughs> I think we ought to group here for a family photo. Fine. That's wonderful. This is the congenital <laughs> Republican president. Right here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, raised him from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> We have plenty of room. Do you want to just get back just a bit? Okay. Well, right. We don't have to crowd. There we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's nice to see all of you. I'm proud of you for what you're doing. Well, I'm and I hope to be able to serve you. I know you will. And thank you for being present. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're great. Our state thinks a lot of you. You talk. Well, <laughs> I think that I had the highest percentage of votes from there. That's right. I'd like to introduce you to Senator Mary McClure from Hello. South Dakota, Hello. the new president. Nice to right see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Um, I'm Senator Farley. This is Hugh well, Farley, the outgoing president of well, the Council Mr. President, of State. So nice to be with you. Well, thank you so much. Well, listen, pleased to have you here. 
My sister-in-law is Mary Rose, who is your deputy secretary of the education. Yes, that'd be good. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going to do. Uh, we get to do a very here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you all both for what you're doing. And thank you. As you know, what a great believer in states' rights. <laughs> well, you certainly have been an inspiration to not only America, but the Republican Party. We're grateful well, to you. We'll miss you. I wish you could have another <laughs> well, term. Thank you for all you've been doing for the party as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Good luck next week. Thank you. All the best, Dave. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. President, this is Ted Strickland, State Senator from Colorado, the new President. Just fine. Turn around here. Right. Turn around here. Thank you, sir. And Senator Sam Nunez from Louisiana. Yeah, he's the President-elect. Thank you, Mr. President. And Lee Daniels, Lee first Daniels vice president from, from Illinois. Illinois. You remember that? Uh, College of Elmhurst that your college beat so badly. <laughs> <laughs> I've told them that story too many times. About the football when you play Yep. It's very nice. Well, I've played it twice. twice. Once there and once yeah. at our place. Can we get sure. one group photo? Right. Yeah. No, I actually gotta go home and exercise. Can we need tag on? Oh yeah, can I take that off? Sure. And stop this reflection. Okay. Congratulate you all and that you're taking over and also appreciate very much what you're doing because I'm a great believer that we are a federation of sovereign states. Yes, sir. We need to remember that a little better than we have. Well, we appreciate what you're doing too, sir. Appreciate the uh, new federalism that we're picking up on that. Oh, good. So, Thanks, great. And we'll be working hard. Wendy's told me we're going to be coming to the end meetings. We'll be working hard for Judge Kennedy, too, Mr. President. To work with you and getting the space to support your nomination. Great. Thanks, Mr. President. Thanks again. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Mr. President. Thank you. Mr. President, this is Hal Stratton, the Attorney General. How are you? It's good to see you. Well, good to see you. Let's First Republican Attorney General in 50 years. 56 years. Yes. 56. Yes, I'm happy to be there and we're supporting you. We're sorry Judge Bork didn't well, get uh, confirmed. We worked hard for him. We're going to work hard for Judge Kennedy. Right. And uh, I have to tell you, I got a free cab ride over here. The cab driver was an Afghan. And he said, if, if I tell you to hang tough on uh, the Afghan invasion by the Russians, he'd give me a free cab ride. I promised him I'd do it. <laughs> So. And if you, if you get on a ride with him again, you can not tell him that you did it, but tell him that I agreed. I'm sure. I'm, he knew you would. He knew you would. All right. Well, I appreciate your time and hang tough in there. We're all, a lot of us are still behind you, particularly in New Mexico and particularly well, in our office. We're well, working I hard. I thank you for all you did on behalf of my campaigns and for your trip to, to China. Well, it's very interesting. And I want, let me say something else about your attorney general. He's one of the best guys uh, around, and uh, he's done a great job. And, I feel sorry for some of his <coughs> predicaments, which are not his doing, and no, uh, he's going to hang tough for you, I'm sure. They, it's a lynch mob that's out after him. It is, but uh, he will make it through. He's, yeah. he's a great guy. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah, you Very good to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm kind of a celebrity head, honorary head of the year, and I'm very pleased to be helping along with you in what we're going to do. Jessica, you go over with Mildred. Okay, and this is Susan Riley, Jessica's mother. Nice to see you. And Sarah Riley, Jessica's sister. And Jennifer Riley, another sister. Pleased to meet you. 
and Kathleen Thomas, who's uh, with the council. Very nice to meet you. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. We'll do our family photo now. Jessica. 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 Jessica, you come right in the middle, right? No, there. This way, right to oh. me, sir, just a little more. Please lean oh. this way, please. Right. Thank you. Good. You keep looking at the president, okay? Remember what we talked about? <laughs> <laughs> we had this all rehearsed. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Keep looking. Expressions. Beautiful. Let me do another one. There we go. It's Mr. more president. fun if I can look at her, too. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Good. You keep looking right here, Mr. President. All right. Let me do it again. I got you talking. Here we go once again. Great. Keep looking right at me. Beautiful. Now, Jessica, you got a little more closer to the President. Just a little more closer. Yeah, that's right. There you go. We'll just move his knee a little. Hmm? That's right. Oh, there just a touch. There you go. Good. Just like that. Now, where are we looking? Now you're talking. You're talking. <laughs> Huh? You just talked to Jessica. Just like that there. Yeah. Let me do another one. That's so good. Turn, Mr. President. Now you can turn right this way. Oh. That's nice. And look right, right here. Good. Jessica, that's good. You look at the president, though, okay?
concerned by your statement last night that conservatives do not understand the ramifications of verification of <laughs> treaties. <laughs> I'm not going to take any questions. We've only got a limited time here this morning and a busy schedule ahead. Do you think, sir, if I may, would it be helpful to your cause in the treaty to criticize the conservatives before they've even studied it or you have explained it? He said, why are you going to take any questions? <laughs> I want you to know that they are ready up in arms. It's holding a news conference right now to denounce your words. Three. <laughs> Secretary Gorbachev, and as a part of those meetings, he and I will sign an agreement that will call for the first time in history, eliminate an entire class of U.S. and Soviet nuclear missiles. You'll be hearing much about the details of this treaty in the coming days, but let me say this treaty, I think, is a good bargain and one that's a major step in the right direction for both sides and for the world. But arms control is only one item the General Secretary and I will be talking about. We have a four-part agenda, including human rights, regional conflicts, bilateral issue, and of course, the arms control. This will be my third meeting with Mr. Gorbachev, and I'm going into these talks as one who's not hesitant in any way to raise the tough issues, and there are many. And I'm also one who's not been afraid to walk away from a bad deal. I've done that already. But I've always felt that we would eventually make progress with the Soviets if we dealt with them from a position of strength. And that's what we've tried to do over these past several years. Most of you in the Congress have supported us in our defense program, particularly in our efforts to modernize our strategic forces. And it's because we have been firm in our resolve, because we've made some tough decisions, that we now have a Soviet leader coming to Washington. So I'm going to call on Secretary Schultz and Frank Carlucci uh, to touch a little bit or elaborate on these issues. Uh, Frank has just returned from a meeting with our allies in Europe. Let me start there, George. We could hear from you. Thank you, Mr. President. Gentlemen. 